Let's take a look at how to interpret line plots with up to five data points. Coach Lauren records the long jump dis distances for each student. What distance did the greatest number of students get? Okay, well, when we're looking at a line plot, notice they're giving us an X to represent each student. So if we look at this, no students jumped five feet, right? There's nothing in our column for five. One, two, three students jumped six feet. One, two, three, four students jumped seven feet, and so on. So we can count how many X's we have above each number to see how many students got that specific distance. Okay, well, what distance did the greatest number of students get? Well, we can just look and see which stack is the highest. This stack is the highest, so it has the most X's. And if you counted them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 X's, nothing else has 10, right? This one only has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that means the most students jumped this distance, eight, since it has the highest number of X's or the most students there. So the greatest number of students jumped a distance of eight feet. Isabella serves sushi at a party and records how many pieces each person eats. How many people ate sushi? Okay, well, she's counting. So this means one person ate nine pieces, one, two, three, four people ate eight pieces, and so on. But she's just saying, we're asked how many people ate sushi. So regardless of how many slices you ate, if there's an X here, you ate some amount of sushi. So if we count up how many X's are in the whole table, that should tell us how many people ate sushi. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So 30 people all together ate some amount of sushi. Maya owns a store and records the number of items each customer purchased. How many items did the greatest number of customers purchase? So again, if you count the X's, it'll tell you how many people purchased that number of items. So if I count this X's, these X's, that's how many people bought three. There's one, two, three, four people that bought four and so on. So if I'm looking for the greatest number of customers purchased this specific number of items, I wanna look for the highest stack of X's. And it looks like this is my tallest stack, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 X's. None of the other columns have 10. So that means 10 people bought seven items or the greatest number of customers purchased seven items. Now notice we're taking the seven, not the 10. The 10 is how many people bought those seven items. The seven is the number of items. Brianna serves sushi at a party and records how many pieces each person eats. How many pieces did the greatest number of people eat? Okay, well, if I wanna know the greatest number of people, I'm gonna look at the highest stack, right? Because each X stands for one person. So the most X's in that column would be the most or greatest number of people. So I can see that this is my tallest stack, right? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 people that ate nine pieces of sushi. So nine pieces were eaten by the greatest number of people, 10 people. Angela is studying bees. She records how many flowers each bee visits before returning to the hive. How many flowers did the least number of bees visit? Okay, so if I wanna know the least number of bees, I'm gonna look for the smallest stack, right? The tallest stack, the most bees visited eight flowers. We also had a lot of bees visiting six or 10 flowers. We only had one bee visiting seven flowers, but notice for nine flowers, there's nothing in the stack, right? We have a blank, we have no X's or a blank stack here for nine. So that means 
no bees visited exactly nine flowers. So the least number of bees, zero or no bees, visited nine flowers. Joshua takes people on bird watching tours. He records the number of birds that each person sees. How many birds did the least number of people see? Okay, well, if we wanna know the least number of people, remember each X would represent one person that spotted that particular number of birds. So if I wanna know the least number of people, I wanna look for the smallest number of Xs. Well, the smallest number of Xs is right here, right? Only two people spotted six birds. So that would be the least number of people, two, that spotted six birds. Notice they're asking for the birds, not the people, so I'm gonna put six birds. Anthony takes people on bird watching tours. He records the number of birds each person sees, how many people went on the bird watching tour. Okay, well I wanna know how many people all together went on the tour. Well, each person is counted in this chart over how many birds they saw, right? One person saw six birds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people saw seven birds, and so on. So if I wanna know how many people were on the tour, I wanna to count up all those X's to see how many people saw any number of birds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So there's 25 X's in the whole table. So 25 people were on the tour. Coach Maya records the number of chin-ups done by each student. How many students did chin-ups? Okay, well this is a lot like the last question. Each X represents one person, right? So one, two, three people did 10 chin-ups, two people did nine chin-ups, and so on. If I wanna know how many students did any number of chin-ups, then I'm gonna count all the X's to see how many students are included in my chart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So all together, 28 students did chin-ups. William owns a store and records the number of items each customer purchased. How many customers made a purchase? Okay, well notice this chart tells us how many items were bought by each person. Right, so each X represents one person. One person bought seven items, one, two, three, four people bought eight items, and so on. So if I wanna know how many customers all together made a purchase of any number of items, I'm gonna count up all my X's, since each X represents one customer. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So altogether, 27 customers made purchases. 